Hi, Professor Lipsky. First of all, it's an honor to have you here with us in Brazil and in API. Uh, I would like to ask you, first of all, why did you start studying implementation and street level bureaucracy? I started this work in 1969, many years ago, and it occurred to me that I was reading a book about the police, and it was explaining how police made uh, decisions very, very quickly, depending upon the race of the person they were dealing with, or whether or not the policeman felt threatened, things like that. And I realized that that kind of an thinking was true for many other kinds of people doing work in public service, like teachers, like um, social workers, uh, and so on. And it seemed to me that there was something to the idea that all of these public servants were working uh, maybe at, from the same framework. And I was an academic, and it seemed like a good idea, so I wrote a paper about it. And people seemed to react very positively to it. And uh, it, the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> Could you maybe explain us the concept of uh, street-level bureaucracy? Yeah, uh, it's it's pretty simple. We have we give governments give public service through individuals, and those individuals uh, have a lot of discretion in their work. That means they um, th their work is not so specific that they don't have to use their own judgment. So. So they exercise discretion in the course of the work. This is certainly true for police officers who go onto the street and they have to make a judgment as to what's going on very, very quickly. It's true for people who do social insurance work. Is the client telling the truth? How do we get more information from the client? All requires judgment. These are not jobs that you can um, uh, organized so specifically that you can write out the rules and people just do that. If you could do that, we'd have machines on the street as police officers. Uh, people, we'd have machines accepting people into social insurance programs and so on. So it's a necessary part of the job that people use discretion. But what we also find when we study these uh, services around the world is that often the people who do street level work have not, don't have enough information or time to do the job in the ideal sense. So they have to make uh, what we call routines in order to uh, get through the job as, uh, as best they can. And that's why we say that street level bureaucrats make policy because in the end, what they do with these routines or ideas about what people represent um, is the policy that our governments produce. And which are the, the con consequences to the government if we have people making policies on the street level? Well, we keep in mind that we want the people to make these decisions. We want the teacher not to follow a rule book, here's a child, here's what I do. They want to, we want the teacher to have as much uh, knowledge and experience and uh, intelligence to do uh, an, a good job with that student. This is not something that can be reduced to rules. Um, so the consequence is that if we manage street level bureaucrats properly, we'll get the best product, we'll get the best set of services, the best policies. So street-level bureaucrats have a direct relation with re the outcomes and, and impacts of policies? And they, have, they, have, they make the policy because in the end, what they do is the policy that we have. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't hire good teachers, pay them well, pay them well enough, uh, give them good training, um, provide guidance for them uh, to the extent that we can. But in the end, what they do is what we get as governments and what, as what we get as society. 
Uh, maybe you can tell us more a uh, little bit about how to study street level bureaucracy, which are the challenges of studying? Yeah, good. Um, when I did this work, I was lucky enough to get a, um, a grant from a, fa a foundation to hire some students to help me understand how to do this. And we, uh, the, the students and I observed um, social workers, teachers, um, people who were giving, um, doing education for children with special needs. Uh, I went to courts and I watched the court officers process people who were part of the justice system. And in my view, we learned a tremendous amount by this kind of observation. And I'm very, I'm very confident that the best work in studying street level bureaucracy includes observations about what the workers do when they interact with clients. And the reason I say that partly is that a, uh, another approach is to ask the street level bureaucrats what they do in different situations. And there's a lot of research that took p place with those kinds of approaches in mind. It's and it, it is what it is, and uh, but I think that these that directus observation is very revealing, partly because workers answering questions, either in a direct interview or with a questionnaire, may not even know what they're doing. We have a lot of research that where the observer real uh, sees something that the worker doesn't even know he or she is producing. And which is the relation between implementation and democracy? In, implementation and democracy. I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, I think it's a component of democracy because we want our governments to be accountable. In order to hold governments accountable, we need to know what they are doing. and. Um, they will tell us and they will produce statistics and those approaches are valuable, but it's not the whole story. So independent um, assessments of what uh, government is doing is a, uh, uh, an element of democratic accountability. And uh, we should have more of it and government should welcome it and government should sponsor it because governments should be open to the idea that they can be criticized. And good governments uh, take those criticisms, assess them, and improve on the basis of the analysis that, they, that, they, um, that they've sponsored. Very good. And just to end it, um, considering this, the connection between implementation and democracy, which are the main lessons or implications for practitioners in mid-level bureaucracies and high-level bureaucracies? What are the implications? Uh, it's very challenging for governments to manage street-level bureaucrats because you want to give them as much guidance as possible and you want to be clear about what the public expects. And that's where um, Agencies, policies come in, uh, but they also, governments also have to recognize that the independent judgment of street level bureaucrats is also important. And that doesn't mean that you write more and more and more rules. It means that you have to have a balance between the rules and a certain amount of freedom to let the workers um, achieve the government's objectives in the way that they best know how. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you for the questions.